Happy hunting. I'm the hunted one. I'm hunting most things. That's handsome. You can hunt. Have you hunted me? You are being hunted. Welcome back to another top 10 for the 5th of October 2018. Let's get into the hunts for today. First one up is Ecopia. Ecopia. Uh, Utility Solar's new cleaning paradigm. I mean, I hate the word paradigm, but this looks like a really smartly well thought out piece of technology. It just sits on top of a bank or array of solar panels. And I presume that the way this works, it doesn't use any, any energy coming down because it's on, on a tilt, it's on a slant. And it has a little solar cell uh, panel along the bottom. And I presume they have some kind of pu uh, pulley system. If you, look on the, uh, if you look on the outside edge of this thing, I presume it pulls that back up. Um, super lightweight system. And then it's got like these little pads that clean the solar panels as it comes down. Somebody's created a business for life here, like because we're, we're going to end up with these big solar farms. And one of the biggest issues is obviously keeping it clean, because if it's not clean, then the energy the solar panels are not as efficient because obviously they're covered in gunk. And so somebody's made a, a perfect little uh, product here. Phil proven painted disruptive sol solution peak production all year round. Great, great application of technology there. Body Zero or Body O is next. The AI pod, the Bod Yo health pod is safe, accurate, easy, and accurate. Uh, measures blood pressure, blood sugar, height, weight, fat mass, muscle mass, and bone density. I can see these things being all over the place from like supermarkets to like walk in doctor booths. Um, this could actually, niche services like this could probably reinvent the high street actually because being able to track some of that stuff, being able to like take data from that and then take it to your local doctor or dentist or walk-in place where you pay by, you know, time specific um, uh, payments, because that's what it's going to go to. I mean, I saw people coming out of Bupa yesterday in a town nearby to here, and uh, you can see that they're just going in and booking a couple of hours and uh, getting a certain amount of work done immediately, like literally walking in and getting it done. We're definitely work walking into uh, a Blade Runner-esque uh, life. Next is Wingman. Uh, it's a bit like a skateboard this is, but it's it's a little bit different to a normal a skateboard is that a normal skateboard is it has that kind of tilt to it. Uh, the difference with this thing is it also has a, a bunch of attachments and functions to it. So you've got a controller with it. So you're used to the controller, you can kind of do different spin speeds and put your finger through the little hoop thing at the front there. Uh, normally on a skateboard to turn you would normally have to bend the skateboard so that the trucks move and rotate but on the wingman to turn I presume like that I don't know how it knows it but that I guess there's some kind of gyroscopic kind of technology in there but the thing I like about this the most is the ability to not only fold it up flat put it into like a back of a car or carry it easily onto a train but the ability to change it into different types of items so you can put handlebars on it cargo i like the cargo thing especially being able to pull along big boxes of technology if you're going to an event or a conference maybe you're at south by southwest having this thing following you around all day or at least to different venues and then plug it in to go be interested to know how long the battery lasts on this thing you can turn it into a cart so the kids can play around with it or you can even put a stabilizer on it and put a camera on it and have that camera following you that could make for like having a second cameraman without having to have a second person there plug and pray uh, plug and pray pretty much uh, if I went on it with plug and pray uh, plug and play robotics external hardware can also control the wingman directly through its front port adding a visual tracker for instance would allow the wingman to auto follow you around carry your stuff without complaint how's that for a wingman uh, I wouldn't buy this one I would probably buy version two or three of it once it's been out there in the public eye but it certainly looks the part I just don't know how well built that machine is it looks a little bit too plasticky and it's just come out of like a university lab. It needs to be road tested and battled hardened, hardened a bit first. Uh, Public Beaters is next. If you are a influencer or you're doing stuff on YouTube about products that you absolutely love. And maybe you get some incentive for that. Maybe you get paid out in crypto. Um, maybe you don't. Maybe you just do it for the love of it. Connecting app developers and software. That's what Public Beaters do. You can download some of these particular apps. Do reviews on it. And there'll be some benefit in that maybe some of these provide like a discount off the software uh, i think this is going to be a massive area for steam hunt when they launch their verticals for instance like review hunt 
and uh, that's why it's super important to get those hunt tokens from steam hunt now because when the other two platforms lo launch hunt tokens are going to be universal across all of those platforms i believe morris is next video stories for podcasts this is cool because anybody can make a hyper niche service like this so basically they're charging a dollar per video and they'll create you a video story which you can then go and share on instagram uh, to advertise your podcast for instance i think you could set up something similar to this today they've got six templates at the minute i'm sure they're building more but uh you could set up something very similar to this a lot of people doing podcasting now a lot of people using instagram to run their drop shipping businesses so there's definitely a marketplace for people to make a little bit of money there bird is next or oh, sorry bind is next bynd one app all your favorite feeds um if you're looking to optimize your whole social media experience uh, pretty much i would have said most of the people who were into social media maybe four or five years ago probably moved on to blockchains by now because social media has kind of turned into a bit of a shit show really it's full of just like fake news uh twitter instagram youtube facebook medium and 70 plus news channels all in one unified feed i can't do that with one of my favorites which is flipboard so i do like the, the fact of being able to add twitter instagram youtube facebook and medium into one particular app and just grab everything from there because there is a whole bunch of stuff that i miss from medium because i don't use medium like i used to i really enjoyed it when i first started and then i realized that actually when you were starting to have to pay to see particular news and it didn't have like a crypto incentive to be there then there's no point in me spending my time there you know like i feel like Anything that has a proof of brain or upwards is where I want to spend my time. Crypto care. Collectibles that make the world a better place. I really like the ethos behind this. We donate ether to high impact causes. Be interested to know what they define as high impact causes. Because when I scroll down, I didn't see how these worked. Because they seem quite low amounts. Environmental protection pals, digital right buddies, human human humanitarian heroes like i don't know if they're ones that they just came up with and they're just building this out i don't know simplicity privacy sovereignty i mean i would say there's a lot of um philanthropy that goes on in crypto especially the people who got into it early and made some good money on it they've kind of made their initial payback from it either spending money on technology or just being uh, an early mover an early adopter support our mission crypto care is a labor of love and we couldn't really use your we could really use your support to continue improving the only thing i will say is i didn't really know who these people were and even when i looked at the about page and saw these two like cartoony pictures i don't know who these people are there's no links to like linkedin or twitter or anything so do your due diligence on the whole site make sure that the the people who are who they say they are because anybody can design a really nice page today and put it on the internet and there's a lot of like you know there's a lot of um attention on cryptocurrency and it's easy to be deceived by icos that just fail and never deliver on what they say they're going to do last three today then the comfortable headless cms so headless cms is basically not worrying about running a database server and things like that they have a SaaS solution in the cloud and you pay to be a member of it and you get to use their tools but it's basically content infrastructure so if you've been used to using something like wordpress which is about 30 percent of the internet traffic for content management systems might be a good idea to start looking at serverless headless um, solutions like this that you can integrate into uh, your clients work especially if you want to move existing wordpress uh, clients away from that stuff uh, and have it all centered in one place if you're hitting the road or you're traveling quite a lot and want to move away from doing all that management have the people do the management for you and just utilize their services sound and sleep se you can get apps that do this but i thought it was kind of neat to have but kind of by the bedside 129 dollars you've got like a selection wheel on there with 64 different sounds from rides home crowds meditate um, I find these really useful when Dale was here we had the whole like screen and like fireplace thing going then after that we had like this chilled CD that kind of runs for two hours and I've got to admit like it really did the job like it, did, it really like set me off to sleep and uh, I had a really decent night's sleep from it so do check these out these are not a gimmick they actually do do really work uh, this one seems to have high definition sounds on it as well that constantly evolve and never loop that's kind of interesting that's a little bit different than the apps version finally today loki trade and communicate with absolute freedom so this is based on monero uh, i believe loki is a privacy project having the agency to decide whether you reveal per personal information is a particular valuable quality today uh, private money service nodes communicate securely the the service nodes seem very familiar to dash's master nodes but obviously with a layer of privacy on there if you're looking to uh, do any kind of billing 
Um, this looks a particular thing to uh, work uh, work into your uh, day to day projects, especially if you're looking to trade with people from other countries. I mean, Monero is incredibly fast cryptocurrency. Um, so check it out. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. That one really slows down my browser. I don't know why. Maybe just the way that the uh, HTML5 is built out. If you've never seen Steam Hunt before, this is what the website looks like as of September. Sorry, October. October 2018. All the links are on the right hand side. When you click through, they appear on the left hand side. Hit the white button, text you through to the hunt that the hunter's put in. If you want to add your own, click on the plus button or the profile button top right. Log in with your Steam details via Steam Connect. That's a wonderful thing about Steam Hunt. It does have integrated Steam Connect features so you know that your passwords are relatively safe. And I say relatively because nothing's completely safe on the internet, let's be honest. Uh, put your title in, subtitle, up to a thousand characters of text. You can upload a five meg file that can be a GIF uh, for a for graphics. Put some tags in there so people can find those. Click publish goes to the Steam blockchain, but it also goes into a big table of hunts for the day that can be over like 200 or odd hunts where people go in and we have a group of influencers that can move really good stuff up. So do concentrate on your graphics and your text and something super unique and super cool that people haven't seen before. Don't forget to use a search in the top right hand corner to make sure nobody's hunted it already or it could be delisted. And chances are after midnight um, South Korean time, which is about 4 p.m. GMT, you could get an upvote from the bid bot, which will really boost your post and uh, make you feel like it's really worth adding your favorite products and services onto the platform. That's it for me today. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow. Repair the path of a steam. Smell steam. Stum nasi, what is a stum nasi? Stum machine. Why shouldn't the guy let off?